Vacations are great, and getting there can be half the fun. But traveling really disrupts your regular schedule, and you end up having most of your meals out, which can lead to some serious out-of-control eating. When I ask people who are watching their weight how they plan to handle things when they're on vacation, they often tell me that they're going to take a vacation from dieting, too. Whenever I hear that, my advice is always the same. Plan ahead and try to stick with your usual foods and eating patterns. That way, you can come back from your trip without a lot of excess baggage. Snacking while you're traveling may help the miles fly by, and fast food pit stops may lure you in. But keep in mind that whether you're in the car, on a train, or in a plane, when you spend long hours just sitting, you're not burning a whole lot of calories. The first rule is don't leave the house until you've eaten something. A bowl of cereal or a smoothie will take the edge off your hunger until lunchtime. If you're driving, take a few minutes to pack some healthy sandwiches and fruit for lunch so the drive throughs don't call to you every time you stop. Pack some healthy snacks like protein bars, fruit, nuts, string cheese, or individual packs of baby carrots. This also works if you're flying because it can be really challenging to find healthy food at an airport. And if you're on a plane, forget about ordering those snack packs. Even the so-called healthy ones can top out at more than 600 calories. Delayed flights are often part of the vacation experience. So when this happens, instead of just sitting around waiting or hanging out at the airport restaurant, try walking off some calories while you wait. You can get in a great walk at some airports. You can log in a full mile at O'Hare in Chicago if you go to the end of each of the four concourses and back. Staying hydrated is important, too, in the summer heat and also in the dry air on the airplane. In fact, you're supposed to drink a cup of fluid for every hour you're flying. But if you're chugging sodas or cocktails, you're going to rack up a bundle of calories. So instead, stick to water, iced tea, or sports drinks, and watch your alcohol and caffeine intake. If you're staying in a hotel, ask if the mini bar is stocked when you check in. If it is, don't even take the key. If it isn't, great. You can pick up some fruit, cut veggies, yogurt, and string cheese, and keep them in the mini fridge for snacks. I like to put some nonfat milk in there, too, and then pick up some healthy cereal so I can eat breakfast in my room. Which brings me to my last point. Watch yourself if your hotel offers complimentary breakfast. It's tempting to overeat when you're not paying for the food, and even yogurt, bagels, or cereal can add up if you eat more than you should.